morning guys and welcome back to my channel and for those of you who are new here my name's Ellen and welcome to my channel so as you can probably tell from the title down below I'm going to be showing you some Christmas party dresses today I or dresses outfits outfits mainly Christmas party slash just general Christmassy outfits that would have made a very long title but yeah Christmas outfits basically I wasn't sure if I was going to do this I've been trying I know I haven't put many hauls up I've been trying so hard recently to not spend any money because I've realized that I'm a bit too easy in the fact that I'm like that looks nice let's buy it so I'm very much a shopaholic basically <laughs> So I've been trying to be wise in my money and save up and put it towards things that are nice. So like, for instance, my Budapest holiday that I had this year, which was incredible. But being the shopaholic that I am, when I was in Budapest, I bought a Christmas dress. I saw this in Budapest in Pull&Bear. And, and I don't know if you can see the like greeny blue shimmer on it, but it's so pretty. I love it. I, I really love it. It's a really nice colour. It's really nice. It's long sleeved. It's got like quite a nice plunge and then goes into a ruche detailing on the front and on the back. Considering the sparkle, considering the glitter on it, you'd expect it to be quite rough because I did see one in H&M before that I was going to buy. But because of the sequin detail or because of the sequin material on the outside, the inside went really rough. But this is really, really soft and it was... 12,995 Hungarian, I still can't say it, Fontin or something like that, but I think it works out to be somewhere in between 20 and 30 pounds. I think it might be 30 pounds, I'm not sure, but that's what I think it is. So here's the first outfit. I tried to put some effort in with makeup as well, so I've done a red lip because that's what I'd go for for Christmas. Oh my god. I am so obsessed with this. I absolutely adore it. I don't know if you can see it in the light, but it's so figure hugging. It's so pretty. It's such a gorgeous dress and definitely my favourite one out of everything in the entire world. This is just the dress of dreams. I love it. I love the plunge detail. It's not too revealing, I don't think. And I love the sleeves on it. I love balloon sleeves, I've realised recently. And then, just in case you need to see like the shimmer up close, and while I was still in Budapest, I also saw this top. It's a nice blue with, obviously, the glittery material. It's very pretty, very soft on the inside once again. This one was only 5,995 Hungarian fontin, or how you say it. Please someone tell me how you say it, because it's still in my head, because I'm like, fontin? But I feel like I'm saying Hungarian fountain. I don't know. But it's really, really nice. The only thing I didn't realise when I bought it, it's got a ring detail on the front. If you can, there we go got a ring on the front really really pretty but I actually didn't realize when I bought it is that it's split at the front as well I thought it was all together and then the ring by there but it's still flattering I thought this with a nice pair of like leather leggings and some nice heels would be very festive if you're just going for like a sparkly top kind of dress down festive okay so this is the next outfit I love this top it's a bit risky because if you stretch or if you're doing anything I feel like you do have a risk of gaping but that being said I am um, I love it it's really nice and then I've just gone for some heels with this one as well now next we're moving on to misguided I didn't actually get too much from misguided but I will show you and I've got one thing that I'm like oh my god about because I love it first of all I got this grey balloon sleeve one shoulder top bodysuit very, very pretty. I just saw it on Helena Critchley's story as well, so I'm very glad I got it. The only size I could get it in though was like a tall size. I couldn't get it in a normal, like fit. The only fit I could get it in was a tall fit. I couldn't get it in a regular fit. So yeah, we've got this. Ow, it just stuck to my hair. And this was £32. I feel like this as well, this was kind of the same idea I had as the blue top, is that it could be used with like leather leggings. So this is the next one. I like this, but not as much as the other one. The top, a lot more difficult to get on. I just had to have my dad help me to get it on because it's just, I don't know, it's weird. And you feel like you're breaking your arm doing it, to be honest. But I do really like it. It's very sparkly. It's just 
It's nail. I wish it was easier to get on and not as like it catches on itself. So you have to be like really careful with it. It's really pretty, but might be a miss from me. And these I got, they are burgundy tool tie front burgundy floaty shorts. This is just so pretty and then you can tie it. It does look quite short, but obviously it's short so it's a bit better than a skirt. But it's really pretty, very soft, very like it's not very forgiving, so you don't have much room to manoeuvre at all by here. No elasticity or anything. This one I was so excited for, and I don't know if it's let me down or if I've just, like, I don't know. It's in the middle. But the concept is there, and I do like it. I don't know what I was expecting, to be honest. But I was expecting something a little bit different. But I do still like it, and it's such a really, like, it's a nice skirt, or nice shorts. I like it, but I'm kind of in the middle. Let me know what you think on this one because I'm in the middle. I'm stuck. I don't know whether it's just not doing it for me or if it's how I've styled it. Wait a second, let me try something else. I don't know if this is it. I don't know. I don't know. And then these I'm so excited for and they are so soft. I am obsessed with these. I don't have enough green stuff at all and I love this colour green. It's Green plisse, I think that's how you say it, wide leg trousers, and I am obsessed. They're so comfy, I already tried them on, I was so excited that I tried them on, and they're so comfortable. Tiny bit on the long side, but I'll show you that now. But, oh my god, they're so comfortable. And then, these were £20, but I've seen so many people wear plisse trousers, and they look so nice, so I thought, might as well try it. And I'm so glad that I did. And this so comes, it literally feels like wearing pyjamas, which is just beautiful. These are absolutely flawless. I love these. And then just some normal heels. Oh my God. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is just so nice. And they're so soft. I can't stress how soft they are. And they look so nice. I love these. I love these. I don't know if this is going to be my new, like, normal day wear. And I wasn't sure... They're quite long. I can't really show you unless I kind of... They are quite long, but when I'm standing up properly in them, it sits so it's literally like an inch above the floor, if that. But it's nice because that means it's not going to be on the floor because I get really paranoid that if I'm walking through pedals and things like that, it's just going to get destroyed. But we're fine. It's not going to get destroyed. It's fine. And then next, this is where I've got the majority of the stuff, is Pretty Little Thing because their party wear is just phenomenal, literally phenomenal. Basically, there's this dress and pretty little thing, I'll put a picture of it by here, and I absolutely adored it, and I've been wanting it for ages, but this dress, I've loved it and loved it and loved it, showed my mum, she loved it. Bit different in person, I will warn you that, but absolutely amazing, and I really, really wanted it, so then, obviously, because I was getting one thing from there, it wouldn't make sense just to buy one thing, it makes sense to buy a lot of other things, so I've got quite a lot from Pretty Little Thing, and I just can't wait to show you this dress. So it's £25, they didn't have the size I wanted, so I sized down because it is quite a, it looks very baggy, and like balloon sleeves and things like that, so I thought it should be fine, hopefully it will, but this is the dress, I didn't realise how see-through it was, but this comes with a belt as well, and so it's tie waist, but because of how sheer it is, it did recommend, I always read the little description of it and see, we recommend that you pair it with this and this, because I always, I don't know, it feels, it's nice, it's a nice little extra. So it said to pair it with some nude underwear, like shorty underwear, so I picked up some of those as well. This one, I feel like I'm so tall, this one I was so excited for and I'm not sure if I'm like disappointed or not, I love it, obviously it's a size too small for me, but... A bit more sheer than I thought it was gonna be. Like, I like it, but maybe I need like, well, Mum suggested a little slip underneath because then it'll make everything look nice and smooth. I like it to some degree. I do. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it was so hyped up in my mind and now I'm kind of in the middle. I'm not sure. I like the style of it. And I'm glad that I got it to see it on. But I mean, there's I do love it. I do love it. But I also don't. I got this jumpsuit. I saw this. It looks absolutely stunning. It's meant to have like a collar detail, which I'll show you now. But it's a very low plunge 
jumpsuit, very sparkly, all sequins all over it with this collar detail so it kind of looks like a blazer going down and yeah it's so pretty it's got shoulder pads as well you can see how much it's like I feel like I'm gonna look like a disco ball I'm so excited straight legs and yeah it's very heavy and this was 53 pounds and then because I saw this I thought it might be nice instead of just having like I don't know if you can see it there the plain space which looks like a belt you can kind of see it I think just the non sparkly bit that isn't a belt I thought it would be quite nice to have a belt with it, so I got this, which I thought looked quite stunning, and I genuinely put belts over my clothes anyway, like over my dresses, so I thought it would be quite nice to put a belt over the jumpsuit and just see how that looks. The belt itself was £16, and they also had it in rose gold, which I was very tempted to get rose gold because I do have rose gold heels. But I went for the silver and I'm very excited to try this on now. I am obsessed but I'm not keeping it because it's so thick. It's really, really thick. Really hard to put on. I feel like I'm dislocating my shoulder to put it on. But I honestly, I have never felt this like... I don't know. I did my makeup as well. I felt, let's go all out. So, my makeup is awful. But I tried. And I tried to do like the clean slick back look apart from the rest of my hair maybe just my head but I love it I do love it as a whole it's just so difficult to wear it's so warm but it's so thick the material I can't tell if you can see but it's like this thickness all the way throughout it it feels like it's like four layers or something which is good because you can't feel the sequins against your skin then but difficult just so difficult but it's really nice and I feel like it's really flattering and everything. You can probably see as well that it's quite revealing so you have to be careful not to have an overspill. So I would suggest like boot tape to keep it where it's meant to be. And I also got this blue glitter metallic tie back dress. It's a mini dress. I don't normally go for mini dresses. But this is so pretty and it feels like a velvety type of material. So pretty and it just looks so nice and just quite basic the neckline is quite basic it's not really anything special it's not I just like the color of it and how it looked on the model on the website so yeah I went for this it's very pretty it just everything looks very dark in my oh there you go you can kind of see it a bit better there and this one was 19 pounds this is the dress I'm really sorry about my clutter right now I completely forgot and I moved everything back and I was like oh no this is the dress I tied it up at the back kind of looks decent although I can't do a bow on myself but this is so nice so the penultimate outfit that I've got for you today I'm very excited about this and this is like really really outside of my comfort zone but I thought I would try it because I fell in love with the trousers I saw it on I'll show you a picture here this is what I saw on the website and I didn't really want a pink blazer so I went for the black one but I thought the black one would still look nice with the sparkly trousers and I really wanted a pair of glittery or sparkly trousers so these are the trousers I am obsessed with how sparkly they are I don't even know if the camera's doing it justice they are so so sparkly they're a little bit thin but very nice it looks very long that's the only thing and a little bit creased but we can we can move we can get over that but they look so nice but then I was a bit concerned with how light they are compared to my skin tone because normally I'd go for like black ones so these are £28 and then the blazer to go with it was £27 and honestly I'm already lost for this and this is she this is her I am already at a loss for words I don't even know what to say it's not me at all I feel like this could be like the baddie outfit and I'm not a baddie at all I'm so soft so I don't know how this is going to work. I can tell you right now I have no idea what's happening to this top at all. It doesn't want to stay in place at the front. So the hand's not going to move. The chains on the shoulders keep falling down. All the don't want to chains on the shoulders keep falling down. And the arms are too tight. And I actually really get it because I thought I'll go out of my comfort zone for once. And hopefully it'll go quite nicely. But it just hasn't. So this is the top. This is what it's meant to look like. I'm like, it's a nice idea, it's just not practical at all, the zip on the back. And I don't really know what's happening to the chains because they're kind of crossing over each other, which I really don't know what's happening there at all. So I'm going to put on another top 
and then I'll come back and talk to you about the trousers. They're a little bit see-through, which you can probably tell in the camera because you can see black, I think. Probably. If not, then that's quite good. It kind of looks like it's bunching up quite a bit with, considering, well, I could get them to be Simon Cowell size if need to be, but like rib cage, or over the rib cage anyway, it's quite gaping here. It's got a lot of room left over, but they are wide leg trousers. Lengthwise, they're not alright. I think lengthwise, they actually touch the floor with me and heels. So can you just imagine wearing like trainers or something? They'd just be hanging. Taking the heels off. That's how much room we have spare. So we have quite a lot of room everywhere. So I like them. But I also just wish they were a little bit more fitted. The final outfit, and definitely the star of the show, is this one that my mum just gave me because we are going out oh i don't even remember when we're going out i don't know when we're going out we're going out for a meal though sometime soon and she wanted us all to wear christmas jumpers or christmasy things so this is my christmas dress i couldn't not put this in because like out of all the christmas dresses this is the christmas dress this is from morrison's it's very soft it's like a skater style dress three quarter length sleeves and it was £10. So this is the last one then. It's really nice, really flattering. Although I reckon it could have a bit more shape and it kind of feels like it's going in like a triangle shape. So it could have a little bit more, could be a bit more fitted around here. And like it's a skater dress. It's a little bit on the long side, but I do like it. And I feel like you could just, if needs be, grab a belt or something and just kind of put it to where you want it to be. But I love the colours and I love everything about it other than that. It's very Christmassy and very lovely and I just love it. It's so festive and that's what we need right now. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe down below if you did enjoy it. And yeah, I will see you all soon. I'm so excited for Christmas now. I wasn't feeling Christmassy and now I'm feeling Christmassy. So the so lights just switched like that. I hope you're all feeling Christmassy. I hope you've all got your Christmas shopping done. I hope you're all feeling festive and jolly and joyful. So yeah, I'll see you again next week. Stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.